Hi, it's me, Coco Deluxe. I'm just going to wait a few minutes to see if anybody's going to come on this live. So just give me one second to just check some messages, see if anybody comes on. But if not, I can still handle myself and do a live even if nobody comes on. So just give me one second, you guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Coco Deluxe. For those of you that do not know me and for those of you that do know, welcome back. Hello, how are you? How you been? How you living? How you living? How you live? So I'm back with another live, which has kind of been a minute that I did a makeup live. I mean, it's always been a minute. I'm, I feel like I'm always explaining like why I haven't been doing my makeup videos. They've been few and far in between. Um, my last two videos are they've been like my swimsuit series i do have one more video maybe two more videos for my um summer swimsuit series for this year 2022 so be on the lookout for the two additional videos but if you have not already make sure you check out the two that i already have up um my last video were some amazon swimsuits and the one before that was the swimsuit for t ta3 swim it's a very like high like technology patent pending swimsuit so make sure you check out that video so anyway welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be doing like a massive massive makeup haul i it's a collection of makeup that i've gotten like over the past like four or five months i really hope that none of the makeup went bad i have a really bad habit of buying stuff and just letting it sit and forgetting about it and then I just be like oh I have this so that's actually what was what happened today I was like organizing some stuff trying to get rid of some stuff actually and I came across oh there's actually a hole in this bag <laughs> but I came across some hi Zachy hi welcome to my live um I came across like a bunch of stuff that makeup that I bought, um, Sephora, hey. Um, so I was like, let me do a, a makeup live demo, some of the stuff. It's been a minute since I've put on makeup because being that I've, I work from home, you know, makeup's not really a necessity, but I'm a makeup girl, so I'm gonna put some makeup on. I haven't been wearing makeup. The last time I wore makeup, I wanna say, I went on a date with my husband like a week ago. So basically the only time that I've, been wearing makeup is if I'm going out somewhere on a date with my husband or something, you know, a special event. Work-wise, I don't need to wear makeup because I work from home. And yeah, I'm really big on skincare. Um, so when I'm not wearing my makeup, I make sure that I'm taking care of my skin, staying hydrated. Um, stay, even though I have oily skin, I still moisturize the crap out of my skin. A good moisturizing routine really balances your, your oil. If you have oily skin like me, make sure you stay hydrated and moisturize your skin because keeping your skin moisturized, you know, your skin's not like, oh my God, I'm dry. So I need to overproduce oil, which makes your face oily and you have bumps and pimples and everything. So check out my skincare videos. Anyway, so moving on. All right, so... Like I said, I really hope this makeup hasn't went bad. Like this is a coat. Like it's been months since I bought this. I went to Sephora. This was like three weeks ago, a month ago. I went to Sephora, and I purchased some stuff there. But the first thing that I do want to try, because I don't even remember what this is. A, the beauty supply. Um, and what the heck did I get from a beauty supply store? So this here, oh, before I get into it, please, please, please like this video, interact with it some type of way, say hi, let me know you were here, um, and share, like, da, da 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 Thank you for the person that came in and commented and liked my live, like, right off the gate. 
Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So this is the beauty supply store bag, which, you know, a nine times out of 10 is always a black bag. So I bought, and I actually must have already opened this up and tried it on, but this is Ruby Kisses. I love Ruby Kisses stuff. Um, this is their Butter Bomb Gloss. It's a very buttery, smooth lip gloss. And I got mine in the shade Nude. She loves a good nude, honey. I love a good nude. Just put that on very lightly. And it looks really cute with my, my complexion. Um, like I said, we are going to be trying on a lot of this stuff. I'm just trying to get reacclimated to what I actually bought because it's been a minute. Um, oh, turn my fan around because I have the AC on, but honey, let me tell you something. When you're in the bathroom under the lights, it can get a little intense heat wise. Okay. Why does it keep turning around? Stay. All right. So this is another of the one, the butter bomb gloss. I got, this is more like a champagne color and it's actually called champagne. And when I'm being a little bit ratchet and ghetto, I like to say shimpag me. <laughs> this here is ooh, a multifunction clear mascara. So you can use this on your, your lashes. You can also use it on your eyebrows. So I might use that. So yeah, that's and then oh Ruby Kisses, their jelly, jellylicious lip gloss. I love this. I, I actually wear, I'm actually wearing this one right now. I like to wear this when I'm, you know, just every day wanting to keep my lips moisturized. So let me, I'm going to get to a bag of stuff I'm actually going to put on right now. So I know, I remember a while back I went to, and this is a Dollar General bag, but a lot of this stuff, not all this stuff in here is from Dollar General. Um, a lot of the stuff I got from Walgreens. So first things first, I'm going to start with the all important base. So CoverGirl has this new line. It's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skincare Mattifying Oil-Free Moisturizer. And it's a moisturizer, but the fact that it says mattifying, I really want to try it as a primer and see how it does and i am going to do that right now okay so this is the once again it's the cover girl clean fresh skin care mattifying oil free moisturizer and i want to say it's new i mean it's new to me um i have never seen this before like i think about this in March I think I bought this in March so I had never seen it before March so I, I mean I guess it's new if it's not new hey y'all is new to me so this is how many ounces is this it's 2.0 fluid ounces and the claim darling is it's a mattifying oil-free moisturizer that's comprised of 87% naturally derived ingredients for a healthy hydrated glow without the shine. It's gonna give you a glow, but without the shine. That's an interesting claim. It's formulated with electrolyte rich, true clean cactus water. I have very sensitive skin, so I tried a product that had cactus water in it before and it kind of irritated my skin. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. I hope it was like an isolated incident. Anyway, it's got cactus water to instantly lock in hydration for 24 hours while simultaneously controlling surface oil. Apply evenly to the face and neck after cleansing. So it's saying you apply it after cleansing. I did just clean my face, so therefore that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this as a primer because its claim to fame is that it is a mattifying oil-free moisturizer. So... I'm going to do that right now. So I have kind of patted away any of the excess moisturizer that I already put on my face after I washed it.
and it is sealed for your protection. Ciao. Okay, I thought it was going to be hard. Look at that. And I can already tell it's got that cactus water in it. I can just tell. Oh, I hope this doesn't bring me out. Usually I can tell right away when something is going to break me out and irritate my skin. So this is going to be interesting. All right, so I'm just going to take a dollop of it and kind of just my mirror is here. I actually need to go get my handheld mirror. Okay, I'm just going to do a dollop. I'm just going to be very interested to see if I can use this as a primer. And like I said, I wanted to try to use it as a primer because it's so boastful of the fact that it's a mattifying moisturizer. But one place that I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to put it. I need to be a little bit more gentle around my eye area, but I'm not going to put it on my smile lines. I'm actually going to go and grab my Rihanna hydrating primer for my smile lines. I'm really, really big on preventing my smile lines from being dried out. Okay. So... How do we think it feels? After a while, it does start to get a little sticky and like splotchy. But I can kind of feel and tell that it's mattifying. I can definitely tell that it's mattifying. I don't know how many boogers there are. Hmm, okay, it's not bad. I mean, like I said, I can tell that it's mattifying. Okay, let me go grab my Rihanna hydrating primer. But like I said, this is the CoverGirl mattifying oil-free moisturizer that I used as a primer. I will be right back. Okay, so no matter what primer I use, I always go in with this primer by Rihanna. The Fenty Beauty, I should be respectful and say. Um, it is their Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I've used this before in several vids. So she's nothing new, but she's something spectacular. So I just take a little bit and just dab her on my small line. Okay, let me go grab my handheld mirror. I keep forgetting that. I don't know if I want to use my red one or my white one. Which one should I use? Don't know. Okay, I'm going to use the, the red one. It's my fave. Red is actually my favorite color. So I'm gonna sit you right there. I'll be right back. Okay. 
clean this mirror right now. Okay. A little something something in my eye but as I am feeling my face I do like how it dried down matte so I like it now as far as it's saying it gives you a glow mm, that remains to be seen but it is what it is okay so if you have been a long time watcher of my channel, you know that I love cheap, affordable, drugstore makeup and going back to the word affordable and cheap. Believe Beauty is one of my favorite, 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 favorite affordable brands. So I recently was at Dollar General looking for some, you know, cleaning supplies and stuff because they're really cheap at Dollar General. And I picked up two more of my, my favorite products of theirs. It's their Perfect Glow Highlighting Stick. So I got one in like a champagne type color, which I'm a little iffy on the name. This one is called Bronze, and I'm gonna show give you a better look. And this one's called Disco. So these are the highlighters. And ignore my nails underneath. I, I got to redo my nails and like drill underneath. Um, so these are them. So this one is Disco. I mean, maybe oh, it's got tape on it. Maybe when I put it on, it'll be a little bit different. But this one's Disco. I'm not getting it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Well, maybe when I put it on my skin, maybe. And this was bronze, not Disco. This one is disco. When you when I be live, like it's crazy. Like I say things like I don't realize I say them. I say th things wrong, and you know it's kind of nerve wracking when you're live, but it's it's fun at the same time. And so this one, this one here is disco. So we've got bronze, which I guess maybe that can be bronze. I don't know, but that's more champagne to me. And I feel like disco should be the one that we call bronze, but. It is what it is. Okay, so whenever I have a cream product, I like to place my cream products down before I apply my other complexion products as far as like foundation and powder. Because I just feel like when I, if I was to put it on over the, you know, my face when I put on my foundation and then my powder and stuff, I just feel like the cream product moves the complexion product that I already have down. It like moves it out of the way and it causes like unevenness in the look. So it's a lot better in my experience to put the cream product down first because it also gives you like that glowing from within look. So I want to see, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I want to do disco. Yeah, I'm going to do disco. I'm going to do disco. So I just put it on. Okay, yeah, disco was, good. was a good choice. Okay, and I'm just going to rub her in with. My fingertips, I actually should have rubbed my fingertips together. But. Let me rub my fingertips together to kind of like create that warmth and blend down easier.
I'm gonna put a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna go over the disco with the bronze and see what kind of effect I get. Because when I put the cream products on before I do anything else, I get like a glowing from within look. And that's what I'm trying to achieve with this. I don't know how my look is gonna go, how it's gonna turn out. Because like I said, I'm just trying to go through the, this makeup that I bought months ago and play around in it and just put some makeup on in general because I haven't been putting makeup on as much. Just that. Is it giving what it's supposed to give as far as a pop? No, not yet. But we'll see what it's looking like once we put our complexion products on. So we've got like a little bit of a, a reflection, a little bit of a highlight going on. I'm gonna go in with some more. Okay. All right. For a cream product, that's not bad, actually. I would actually just wear this like this if I was going to the beach for a little bit of glow and some lip gloss. That's it. Okay, so that actually blended away pretty good. It left a slight highlight, a little slight, slight highlight effect. I'm not mad at it. It could have been a little bit more, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's see what we have next. So this is definitely, I got this from Dollar General, so I, I got two eyeshadows from Dollar General and let me just show you guys the rest in the back so this is um, LA Colors invite only it's a 20 color eyeshadow palette um, and it is I guess the color scheme is called invite only nice evening nude color palette there this one is, I think I actually already have this. I have a habit of like buying things and not really thinking about stuff that I grab off the shelf to buy. When I tell y'all I'm a shopaholic, a part of being a shopaholic is not thinking logically about one, if you really need it, two, if you already have it, and three, if it's like literally even worth buying which kind of falls under if you need it but you know it is what it is so this one is wet and wilds color icon color palette in nude awakening there she is there she is and i'm gonna open both of them up i don't know which ones i'm gonna wear so this one is oh and this is my receipt when did i buy this stuff i bought it on march 23rd people march 23rd it's april 16th Okay, anyway, so these items, like I said, I have, I have them in the Dollar General bag, but 
I bought them at Walgreens. Did I buy this mascara from Dollar General though? Mascara Maybelline. Hmm. Oh, okay. Mega roll. Well, that's I bought toilet tissue that day too. Okay, so let me correct myself. So these mascaras. That there. So I bought these two mascaras from Dollar General, and this is their revamped Colossal Curl Bounce. I want to say it's revamped. I don't know. Did they already have the Curl Bounce out? I don't know. But whenever I buy my mascaras, I always have to do the regular and then waterproof version because I put the regular down and then I put waterproof over that. So I got Blackest Black in the regular. And then I got very black in the waterproof. And so I'm really excited to try those. But from Walgreens, so in the running for the mascara competition, I don't know which one I'm going to wear now, if it's Maybelline or L'Oreal. So in L'Oreal, they've got the Voluminous Noir Balm Mascara. It just sounds so luxurious. Voluminous Noir Balm Mascara. So this is, it's clean of uh, parabens and mineral oil, which is okay, like, I never knew they had oil in mascara. That was very interesting. Hmm. Anyway, so this one is in the shade black. And yeah, so it just looks, it looked really luxurious and I just had to have her. So I don't know if I'm going to wear her or Maybelline. So yeah, that's that. And then this one is, I think I got this from Walgreens. I got this one from Walgreens. So this is Almay's Clear Complexion Makeup Salicylic Acid Prebiotics in Aloe is what it contains. And I got it in Mocha, but I am a little, well, no, that, that's my color. So, yeah, I got it in Mocha 910. So, yeah, I'm excited to try her. We're definitely going to put her on. And then for concealer, concealer, I got uh, Maybelline's Active Super, ooh, that um, yeah, I got that. That's what I got. I got the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear um, Concealer. You can wear this up to 30 hours is, the, is what it's claiming. And so I, with concealer, I always get my exact shade complexion color. And then I always get like a highlighting concealer, which is like a couple shades, two or three shades lighter. So this is going to be my... Oh, that might be a little... It's not an exact match as far as my complexion is concerned but you get the gist of it i get a darker and a lighter concealer one to actually conceal and another one to actually highlight so all right i guess we're going to go ahead and actually put on some more makeup let me put that bag down there because i have a feeling i'm gonna be getting a little bit messy here stay highlighted Hydrated, not uh, well. I want to stay highlighted and hydrated. <sighs> Drink water, people. Drink your water. I can't deal with the people that run around talking about. I don't drink water. I don't like the taste of water. Real? Are you serious? Like, what is your pee smelling like? Like, oh my god. How are your kidneys functioning right now? But anyway, let me let me stop judging. Okay, so I like to wet my makeup sponge, which is did I buy? I thought that. I... Hold on, I think I'm gonna use a different. I'm actually gonna use a brush. I think too. This is my CVS bag, which I'm gonna get into that in a second. So. Okay. Oh God, why didn't I buy two of these? So this here is a blender brush. You can use it for your liquid and cream foundations. 
This is from Joa, Joa, Joa. If it would focus. And so I'm gonna use that to put on my foundation, but I thought, oh y'all, why did I, tell me why I actually have I bought this here. This is a bomb, bomb, bomb concealer. I have a darker color that I use and I wanted to, I bought this as a highlighter, but yeah, so anyway. Okay, this is what I was, I was looking for. I thought I bought a sponge, but I was actually looking for this here. This is from Milani and it's a cream blush. So, this is in the shade Merlot Moment. She's giving, definitely giving Merlot. Um, Merlot Moment 140, Cheek Kiss. And so this is a cream blush. Oh God. And like I told you guys before, I love, love, love to put my cream products on before I do any other complexion products. Because for me, it just, I, I just, it doesn't, it never works out when I try to put the cream products on over my, over my complexion products. It just never works out. It takes product away. I just haven't mastered it yet. <laughs> Honestly, have not mastered it yet. So my tactic and my advice for anybody using cream products put them down first before you put on your other complexion products okay so ooh! okay i don't know why i like to smell some of my stuff but it doesn't have a smell so we're gonna rub her down okay and I am going to, I like to put my blush on the balls, balls, on the apples of my cheek. And it's a very faint color and obviously it's buildable. I think I'll put one more and I think that'll be it because I don't want to overdo it. And the same on my left side, which is your right. Ooh. Oh. Is that too much? Ooh. I love, love, love to put my blush on the apples of my cheeks because I have very full red, red cheeks. I have very full round cheeks and I just like to highlight that. I do not shy away from the fullness of my face. So what do we think of the blush? I like it. I don't know why I feel like this should have a nice berry smell. I don't know why. And I kind of feel like I need to have music playing. I want to have some music. I'm probably going to get taken down, but I'm going to play some music. So if I get a notification from YouTube to stop playing the music, I'll stop playing it. But we're going to play some music right now. Okay, okay. What do I want to hear? Oh, I love Mary J. Blige's latest album, Good Morning Gorgeous. If you have not downloaded this, like get your life together and download the queen of hip hop R&B, hip hop soul. 
Mary J. Blige. Okay, so we're gonna play her, but I'm gonna put it down. Oh wait, that's actually Three Six Mafia that I was listening to in the car. Okay, let me play Mary. Let me play actually play Mary J. All right, hold on. Let me play her. This album sounds really good, actually. I'm gonna play it low. I'm gonna play it low, low. I'm liking how this cream. I kind of feel like I can build on that, put a little bit more because we're gonna go over this with some complexion product. So it's okay that it's like a little bit intense. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. I feel like I need to turn this down just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go in first with some concealer. This is, again, bringing back the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. I got 57 and 50, so this is 57. This is my concealer shade. Ooh, that might be a little too light to be my concealer shade, but we're gonna make it work. We are gonna make it work. And then this here is my highlight concealer I'm so like I need to shake this this stuff has been sitting for a minute I bought a lot of this stuff in March so yeah all right so this is supposed to be up to 30 hours of wear um who was calling me from New York I don't know I don't have no business in New York goodbye goodness all right. So my dark circles are so bad right now because I cannot seem to go to bed before 11 o'clock. It never fails. Even if I finished everything, I have a free evening, nothing to do after work during the weekday. I'm, st you know what it is? I'm on my phone looking on TikTok. So I love the quality and uh, texture and condition of my skin. My issue, I have two issues, okay? Let's talk about this. I have two issues with my skin. One is obviously my dark circles are getting a little bit darker, okay? And then the fact, which is my own problem, my own fault, is I have scars. Because anytime I get a pimple, I pop it. I am a pimple popping addict, okay? Don't let my husband have a hair bump in his beard and I, like I see it. It's going down. It is going down. But anyway, so I'm sorry. I just, I'm rambling you guys. Okay. So anyway, here we go. Is this the, all right, this is definitely a little bit lighter than I prefer my concealer to be you guys, but we are going to make it work. I do love the curve of this. It's got like a slight, it's a curved doe fit applicator. I love it. Mm -hmm. Have to move. You Oh, oh, 
love another love another love. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, y'all? I forgot to wet my sponge. I'm gonna apply my foundation with the brush that I got from Joey, but I need to actually wet my sponge for. So those of you by now in this, this time in the makeup game know that when you're using a makeup sponge, it's best to, or a, blue, a beauty blender, whatever, it's best to wet it because if it's wet, it doesn't need to soak up the product that you're putting on your face. So you're actually not wasting product, basically. And I need to clean my, my sponge. Damn it, I need to clean this stuff. I, I haven't had a chance to do anything. Like I said, I just was organizing and, and going through stuff today, which is what brought my attention to the fact that I have all this new makeup that I haven't even gotten into. So. Squeeze out the excess. And, ooh, my pants are wet. I got my pants wet. And you got a perfect blender. But I'm cool. I think I waited too. Oh, my nose is itching. Yeah, I waited too long, y'all. It's not blending right. I let it sit too long. Some concealers, it's good. To, my nose is really itching. What does that mean when your nose itches? Some concealers, it is good to let them sit and get like dry down a little bit, but obviously this is not one of those concealers. When you put this one on, you want to blend right away. With me. Mm, I had pizza today, so I'm a little like burpee excuse me you guys which i'm putting on this makeup but i have to work out today so i'm going to be working out with a full face of makeup but it's okay should i put i wonder if i should put a little bit more of i'm going to go in under here on the table all right how do we feel it's doing on the concealing aspect of it i kind of feel like i need to it's not it's a little too thin i feel like it's a little too water-based because i'm keep having to um build on it and with concealer i don't like to put too much product concealer product underneath my eyes because that causes creasing so but it is what it is when some get loose
Okay. Ooh. My mirror fell in the sink. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the highlight, highlight concealer. My mirror is not broke. And we're going to highlight now. The inner corner to wake up. I see I had a bump right there that I popped so and I just blend that in at the corner of my eye to wake up my tired eyes There, is, is she looking woke? You can't help me say that to you. See how you can still see a little strip, stream of highlight there? See there? It's that lit from within look. Which is why I strongly, strongly recommend that I keep knocking my mirror into the sink. Jesus! Okay, which is why I strongly recommend to put down your cream products first and then go in with the complexion products being your foundation and face powder, setting powder, yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to go in with this All May Clear Complexion Makeup. It's got salicylic acid in it with prebiotics and aloe. So that's really new to me. I have never had a foundation that's got prebiotics and aloe in it. So, okay, I'm a little, uh, you can treat acne with your foundation basically. It says, treat acne from the surface with salicylic acid while calming and restoring your skin's healthy barrier with prebiotics and aloe. So I got this brush from Joey at CVS. And like I said, I got all this stuff over a month ago and it's just been sitting. So this here is the ultimate blender brush. You can do your cream foundation, your liquid foundation with it. I have honestly been a little bit reluctant to go back to using brushes to put my complexion products on for the simple fact that I don't know I just I've gotten used to using beauty blenders um, but I just wanted to see how this here works if she could get her out okay so this here is our brush this is our brush here very short bristles is this vegan I'm not a vegan but just for anybody that's wondering um, I want to say it's cruelty free. It says cruelty free. So I, I guess it's definitely not a natural bristled brush. Um, it's made with synthetic fibers. I'm assuming if it says cruelty free. So for anybody out there that is vegan or vegetarian, you're looking for a non or synthetic fiber brush, go with Joe. All right. So we're going to go in. I don't know why I like to smell my stuff. <laughs> You will always see me whenever I'm using new products. I like to smell them to see how how it smells. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here.
Okay, are you coming out? Oh, ooh. Oh, shoot. Okay, I just want to put a little product on. I don't want to do a lot. This is definitely a perfect match. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, this is going to... That's gonna blend out to a lot. Did I get my? All right, so here we go. It's been a minute since I have used a brush to um, apply my face product. So this is gonna be interesting. I kind of feel like it's soaking up a lot of my product. See, it's concentrated like right there. It's kind of like soaking up a lot of the product, which basically solidifies the fact that, solidifies the reason why I like to use my beauty blenders. I mean, I literally have so many though and see how I'm getting like a subtle blushiness from that cream blush And I don't put any foundation product under my eyes. I just leave that to the concealer because I don't want any creasing whatsoever. And the less product that you have under your eyes, the less chance you have of product creasage. I don't know. I'm going to try to be brave here. Oh my God. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that cream blush. Oh. It actually is blending really good over the foundation. And I love how the All Made Foundation blended down very almost natural and light. So I definitely would say that this is a blendable or buildable foundation. You know what? And it doesn't say if it's long lasting or not. Hmm. All Made, this is literally my first time ever using All Made products. Definitely the first time using their complexion products. I'm trying to think, do I have any other Almay products that I can't even think of? But I'm going to go back in with my concealer and...
I was looking to see if YouTube messaged me yet to tell me to stop playing this music. <laughs> Okay, so for, to set my face, I actually got, this is, I've, I've used this, but a while back I went to Walgreens and um, they had a beauty advisor in the makeup section and I asked her, I was like, what is the best L'Oreal product out now that I need to get and she told me their infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation in a powder so I'm just now realizing I just put foundation on so I'm wondering if I should use this but we're gonna go ahead and use it anyway okay me you guys I had to adjust my pants all right so we are going to go ahead and use hold on I gotta get my sponge thing here okay so I got my little thing here to it's called a color change sponge I'm about to fall back in my chair. Oh Lord, Jesus is going to be a, a problem. All right. So, just to rub off any other product that I had on this brush from another product. So, this here is the Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in a Powder. And I, I, like I said, I've worn it before and I actually like it. You don't have to wear foundation with this, but I'm going to try and see how it looks over foundation. Totally forgot I had it, which is why I put on the Almay foundation. But anywho, and this is in the shade. What shade are you in, darling? Deep Amber. 375 deep amber so here we go just gonna dip it and do it I hate when I get the product in my hairline and it gets some muddy oh me I mean, I just love how everything is a perfect match for my complexion. Like, it doesn't look cakey, doesn't look caked on. Like, I really like it. The foundation to the L'Oreal, like, I really, really like it. And like I said, the L'Oreal is a foundation and a powder, so you can literally just throw that on. It's long-lasting, 24-hour wear. I literally wore it all day long one time and did not have to reapply my makeup. Like it was, it's, it's bomb. Excuse me, you guys. Let me use my water. Okay. And I'm just spilling everyone. Hold on, let me share my link right quick for my live. See if I can get some people on. If I can't, if nobody comes on during the live, that's okay. That is all right. Let me see if I can share the link. Wait, how do I share it?
Hold, please. <laughs> I'm sharing my link. And if you're coming in, please share the link. Please share the live. Please like the video. Mm. Oh wait, I didn't even get the link. I didn't grab it. Oh God. Y'all help a sister out and please share this because I'm struggling right now. I can't even grab the link. <laughs> okay, here we go. I got it. Share it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm watching me, watching okay, me. I'm watching me, watching <laughs> me. All right, Mary J. Blige, where you at, boo? If you have not heard or downloaded her late, latest album, Good Morning Gorgeous, what what's happening with you in your life right now? Like, woo, anyway, okay, so we've put on our complexion product, and I just really love how I have like that subtle highlight and subtle blush from the cream products that I put down before. So, okay, so let's see. I, I do want to set underneath my eyes. So notice I have not... I didn't put any of my products underneath my eye because I'm going to go and set underneath my eyes with a translucent powder. I don't think I bought a translucent powder. One reason that I set underneath my eyes is to bake. Okay. And another reason that I do it is to um, catch any fallout from my eyeshadow. But I'm not really going to do too heavy of a look right now for my eyeshadow. I mean, that's my intention, not to do too heavy of a look, but a lot of times, I mean, I say I'm not going to do something and it turns out totally different. So anyway, um, here we go. Just a little bit. A little bit. And this is translucent powder from Wet n Wild. Oh God, that's not how I wanted it to go. Y'all. Oh. And also it highlights it gives me a good highlight when I brush it away. Going insane. I literally really don't even know what look I'm going to do, you guys. So. And then I also like to put a little bit on my smile lines to set my smile lines. Claim to be a genius. Okay.
Uh oh. Oh my God, if you guys could see my pants right now. Jesus. And like I said, this was Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I really love it. It's bomb.com. Okay. So did I get, I don't think I got a, okay, so I didn't get a eyeshadow primer, but that's okay because she's got plenty. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in with the lead. Oh, I literally just hit the shit out of my knee. I'm gonna go in with Believe Beauties um, eyeshadow primer, lock it in eyeshadow primer and translucent. I've used her before. Um, just a true ride or die eyeshadow primer that i really love who's calling me oh crap it's my hubby hold on you guys hold oh, please hey babe I'm, I'm doing a live um on youtube huh he, him and Francisco are um, hanging out. Yeah, I think they're out playing basketball. Oh, I know you are, babe. Are you gonna be okay? Well, I'll iron your uniform for you. All right, babe. All right. Bye. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so adding the eyeshadow primer from Believe Beauty. And I don't know why I'm not using my handheld mirror right now. This is really not the best. You I don't know what kind of note that was, y'all, but just, just go with it. into some eyeshadow. So eyeshadow I got invite only. I think I'll probably do both invite only and wet and wild color icon. 
I just, I'm going for like just a regular smegular ultra natural glam look. So, because I have to do some content for um, Sculpt She. And I just wanted to put on a little bit of makeup, but I didn't want to just put on makeup and like go through all this new product and not show you guys. So she is going to just do a simple look, which all my looks are really simple. Like I don't get into like the graphic stuff, which I really love by the way. But that's me doing that is not my ministry. But I love watching people do those, you know, those eccentric looks. I like, I really love it. So anyway, all right. So this is the palette. I can't remember how much this costs, but I got it from Dollar General. So in order, like the fact that it has a mirror with it, it is from Dollar General, 20 shades, okay? Like, hello. We're gonna see how this pigment is though. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's see how this pigment is looking. Not to fight for. Like my chair is making noises as my butt rubs against it. So I swear it's not me hurting you guys, okay? <laughs> I swear it's not. All right, so we're primed. And I am going to go in. This is my makeup brush collection. And then I also have. I also have this here. Um, this kind of, she's kind of a newer brush set. <laughs> I haven't used it until it's got like dust on it. But I really like this brush set because I mean, hello, it's animal print, like hello. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna dip it in and do it dip it and do it in some of these brushes here for my eyeshadow application so like i said this is see i kind of used that one already but this is my brush collection that i already have so it's not like i needed more but anyway all right here we go so this is the la colors invite only palette so I really like to go in with my eyeshadow. If you have been following me, you know that I like to do a garage color, like a face color. It's like when I'm live is when people like to message. Like, stop, I'm live. Jesus, I love you, but let me, let me be live for a minute now. Before. And I think I might actually go live on my um on my TikTok. I think I'm gonna go live on my TikTok while I'm in here. Okay, Mary, I'm gonna cut you off for a minute. Hold up. Hold up, you guys. Talks that I just did today. Me being nosy as hell whenever I get butt dialed. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't know why that that's only really got two views. 
Oh, it's, it's at 82 views right now. I'm like, wait a second, 82 views? Okay, so let me go live on my TikTok right quick. Because I, I never go live on TikTok, literally, never. If I could type, that would be great. I just hate that I had to turn off the music, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm like live on my YouTube and I'm also live, well, this is y'all, I'm live on YouTube and I'm also live on my TikTok. So it's like, I'm literally doing my YouTube channel, but like my TikTok is like a behind the scenes type thing. So yeah. All right, you guys. So if anybody, hello, hello, everybody on TikTok. I'm actually live on my YouTube channel, but you guys are getting like a behind the scenes view. So as you can see, she's putting on a face right now and I'm doing my full face makeup video on my YouTube channel, Coco Deluxe. And like y'all are like the behind the scenes viewers. So, okay. So anyway, back to the YouTube. Hello, hello, hello. So I am going to actually put on a full, I like to call it a garage, like a garage color, like a base color. And what the base color does is it literally helps all the other colors that I put on there after go on like smoother. So I'm actually going to dip my brush in my color change sponge. Hey, y'all. Hey. Oh, I got 240 likes already on TikTok. YouTube, y'all need to up y'all game because TikTok is showing me like a lot of love right now. <laughs> I've got 321 likes right now on my my TikTok. So I actually feel like I should have just went live on my TikTok. But yeah. What's going on, TikTok? Okay, so let me go in with my garage of color all over my lid. And this basically is just gonna help all the other colors that I lay down just go on smooth. And I'm actually putting on this color here. And these don't have individual colors. It's just the name of the palette is invite only. And it's basically like an evening uh, a new palette that you can take from day to evening, day to evening to night. Thank you, Job Diesel. I just started. I don't know if you can see the skills yet, but but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who just followed me? I need to follow you back. But do you have content? I like to follow people that have content, though. But you know, forget it. I'm going to follow you anyway. Why is it not? 
Oh, you private, so I got a request to follow you. Let me follow you back. Thank you, Ja Diesel, for following me. I'm going to follow you, Zach. Are you private, too? I got a request. Oh, no, I was able to follow you back. I really need to listen to some music up in here. YouTube, um, TikTok is really got y'all beat right now. <laughs> so I don't know. But YouTube be um, player hate and they don't be sending out my notifications and stuff. Thanks for the follow, Nathan. Let me follow you, Bizak. Why you you don't got no content though? But oh well. Do you have content? I didn't see. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with I'm actually doing like a double live. So I'm on TikTok and my YouTube. My YouTube channel is Coco Deluxe. C-O-C-O -C -O space D-E-L-U-X-E -E on YouTube. Okay, so I feel like I need to go in with a transition color. But you know what? This palette is not really the best. But it is what it is. It was from Dollar General, so we just going to leave it at that. Um... We are just going to leave it at that. She likes, I don't do expensive makeup. I'm just not, I can, but I'm not. I'm just not going to do it. Lord, I need to put some music on, but I can't. Even if you don't stay on my live long, can you please just send me some likes? <laughs> That's really what helps, sending likes. Thank you. Oh, we got, I got to put some music on. This is really like driving me crazy. 